Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. Um, I'm here to do your full moon weekly mini reading. Okay, so this one is going to be a little more in depth this week for um, Monday, the 25th of April, ending the 1st of May. So I'm starting with the Taurus because it's April 22nd and we are actually in the Taurus moon. Okay, so I'm going to do a five card spread. Um, and I'll be doing a five card spread for each zodiac sign um, and again this will be a quick reading um, for more personalized reading definitely visit my website um, I do offer same day readings I try to get your readings done on the same day um, it just depends on the situation so alright so I am just um, shuffling for the Taurus and we're going to be looking at um, the energies for your love life and what's going on what's actually happening for a lot of you Tauruses for um, well this is your full moon reading but this is going to cover the 25th of April until the 1st of May so we're going to look at past, present, future and then a couple of extra cards. So spring has sprung and everything is everything. All right, so uh, Taurus, currently what I'm seeing um, is this Ace of Cups. So this is like a new emotional beginning for you. Um, not to mention, this is a lot of joy and happiness within a relationship that you're in. So for a lot of you Tauruses, currently things are going great um, with whoever you're currently with. Um, I get the sense that... Um, Whatever, it's either, uh, judging by the surrounding cards, I'm going to be honest with you, Tauruses, okay, because this is your moon, and uh, we're on a full moon, so right now for you to get a card, the illustration shows um, an angel who's holding a cup, and there's all this energy coming down from the full moon, so right now you're getting a lot of energy from the full moon. Um, typically, this is a very positive card. Now, in the past, you did get the emperor, so this is a very authoritative man. Um, I mean, this for male or female, this could be a father. This could be your significant other. Um, but what's crossing him in the past is the seven of swords. So there's some sort of betrayal in the past, and I do see that it did cause you some emotional pain for a lot of you Tauruses. Um, for the seven of swords to come up this is um, someone cheated someone lied okay typically is what this is not only that this is also indicative of a poorly thought out plan very poor planning on your part um, there's a particular thing that I want to tell you about this seven of swords because I am using the deviant moon tarot deck because one of my beloved pagan tarot cards is missing a lot of people think that my meditation music is distracting in the background and I'm sorry it just really let me turn it down because some people were saying they couldn't hear me so I don't know um the seven of swords the illustration of the Seven of Swords um, is a Harlequin attempting to swallow his swords in a dramatic display of skill, yet his plan is flawed. The rope which binds the blades is frayed and will soon break, leaving him in a tragic predicament. So the upright position, meaning ill-conceived plans of path to failure, a poor attempt. So. I do see a failed relationship in the past for a lot of you uh, Tauruses, male or female. This person was very authoritative. I think that some of you male Tauruses could not deal with this person. I believe this person may have been a fire energy possibly or maybe even a water sign. 
um, maybe an earth sign, okay? Because the Seven of Swords is really someone that, um, you know, thought that they had it figured out, but they actually didn't. Um, so now what you can look forward to coming up for next week, you did get the tower. So this is literally a booming comet from the sky in the illustration. It usually looks like this in every tarot deck. So there's going to be a huge change coming up between the 25th of April and May the 1st. There's going to be something that's going to come up. Um, and it's going to be a breakdown. Now, you did get the Justice card, and the Justice card is a major arcana. And this is more so advice for you, the need to be fair, the need to be, um, the need for fairness and peace and justice is what you're going to be dealing with coming up. Um, it, these energies are not very loving, to be honest with you. Um, whenever I do a love reading, for any zodiac sign or for any person if i get more than it, it, it's it's just the way that the cards play out um not only that the justice card could be you being at a crossroads you making some sort of decision or some sort of karma so for uh, whenever i see the tower with the justice crossing it um there's always this this karmic backlash that I see because the justice card is all about karma someone has done something in the past that they deserve to get paid back for and this is where the justice comes up so you got two major arcanas in the future um, this could go either way for a lot of you Tauruses judging by what happened in the past the justice card does have a positive ending to it because it does show you taking a path um, you choosing another path okay so there is a positivity about this and these are the energies from the universe that you're not going to be able to control a lot of you Tauruses um, it's going to be a little a little annoying because there's a judge that's going to be involved now for some of you Tauruses there may be some something legal coming up um, this this week involving um, your love life it could be it could have an effect on your love life so if you are single, next week may not be a good week for you to meet someone or to even get serious about someone because you're going to be dealing with some karmic backlash from either you or a partner. I mean, just because I, I'm going to be honest with you, the emperor is a very positive role model, a very good man. And so for the seven of swords to be crossing him, it kind of leads me to believe that it wasn't the emperor that did this thing it was the bad planning on your part Taurus so in the future you got the justice card this is a judge balancing two swords as he presides over the city although seemingly fair corruption always creeps from the seams of a just society so the justice card is means that there's going to be some sort of balance and strong character and fairness this is doing the right thing and it doesn't matter you're going to be forced to do the right thing so this is either you or your partner are going to be forced it may be the both of you at the same time um you know but it, it and so i can see it being a rough week and i think it's all gonna it's all gonna be about karma this week for so your theme for next week is going to be about karma have you had good karma are you manifesting actual love in your life or are you manifesting a huge hot mess? Um, I think it's going to be up in the air for a lot of you Tauruses, but it's very obvious that the boat is going to get rocked. So that's what I'm seeing. Karma, karma, karma for you Tauruses coming up. Um, if you want a uh, more personalized reading, um, the link is in the video description box. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. I am almost at 3,000 subscribers, and I will be uh, giving away a, I'm going to be giving away something, so there's going to be a contest, a drawing, whenever I get up to 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to announce the contest, and you guys will get something from my online store, thedivinemommy.com, for free. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Bye.